In this tutorial, we are going to practice dividing fractions, and this example starts with a mixed number divided by a fraction. Over to the right, we have two and one half circles drawn divided by one eighth of the circle. So what we are trying to do is to figure out how many groups of one eighth can we fit inside two and one half. So what we can do is we can start off with this picture of two and one half circles and divide these into eighths. So we're going to start by breaking these circles into quarters, and then we can cut the quarters in half. And by doing that, that will create eighths. And you can see for each circle we have eight eighths. So now we have 16 eighths, and we have to divide this half into eighths, and we can only get four eighths out of this half. So now that we have taken two and one half circles and divided them into eighths, let's count how many of these smaller pieces can fit inside two and one half. So we have one of those pieces, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we can say that we can fit 20 of these A's inside 2 and 1 half. Now we're going to show this problem mathematically. And we have a mixed number to start with, and we have to rename this mixed number as an improper fraction. To do this, we write the exact same denominator. Because our denominator is 2, we're going to express our fraction in terms of halves. But to get our numerator, we have to multiply our denominator by the whole number to start with. And 2 times 2 is 4. And then we add the numerator to that product. And 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And whenever you are dividing by a fraction, you must multiply by its reciprocal. So we change the division sign to multiplication. And we write the reciprocal of 1 eighth, which is 8 over 1. The next thing that we can do is multiply the numerators together, which would give us a product of 40. And the denominators will give us a product of 2. Now we have an improper fraction, so we have to simplify this. And we simply start with the numerator and divide it by its denominator. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And that supports our answer that we got with the visual model above. With this example, we have a fraction divided by a fraction, specifically 3 eighths divided by 1 quarter. So what we are trying to do is to figure out how many groups of 1 quarter can we fit inside 3 eighths. Well, if we were to take a look at 3 eighths right here, we can see that there is one quarter if we were to combine two of those eights. So we can see that this one quarter can fit inside three eights one whole time. But notice we cannot fit this inside this group two times. This little piece right here is only half of a quarter. Therefore, we would say that we can fit one quarter into three eights one whole time and then half of another time. So our answer should be 1 and 1 half. Let's verify that our answer should be 1 and 1 half by applying the algorithm of fraction division, which is to keep the first fraction as it is, change our division sign to multiplication, and writing the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 1 fourth becomes 4 over 1. Next, we can write the product of the numerators, which is 12 and the product of the denominators is eight. Notice that the numerator and the denominator can be reduced by a factor of four. So let's divide the numerator by four as well as the denominator by four, and that would give us three over two. Now we can change this improper fraction into a mixed number, and that would give us one and one half. And if you forgot how to change an improper fraction into a mixed number, just divide the numerator by the denominator. And we can fit 2 inside 3 one time, 
and that would give us a remainder of 1. And what we do is write a fraction bar by the whole number, and the remainder will always be the numerator, and the divisor of the division problem will be our denominator. So we would say that 3 eighths divided by 1 quarter is 1 and 1 half, or we could say that 1 quarter can be divided inside 3 eighths one whole time and half of another time.